last night, found my spot and started clearing a couple things. Even if you wanted to, if I had work to do on the computer, I can't do it uh, during the day between about like 9.30 and four or so because the sun's on the tent. And there's really no other, no other place to get away from the bugs. So there's no cool place on hot days. Screened in, who knows, maybe put a wood stove in it for the spring and the fall. Everything's up in the air. I don't know. I mean, the thing I like about this is I didn't do any drawings, hardly any thinking. I just guessed 12 by 12 would be good. It's going to be a long project, but I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to slowly pick away as I have time and the weather's good and I'm not doing something else. So let's do this. Let's cut some trees. This is what it looks like when I'm loaded down to tree cut. I got the little saw with me today. Got all my safety stuff, chaps, helmet, some ropes, snatch blocks, bar oil in there, chainsaw gas. Got my axe on the back in case we need to wedge something over. Of course, there's always a machete on here. What kind of machete? I don't even know what this thing's called. It's great for lemon trees. It's got some weight to it. That's as close as you get to a tree falling down out here. This past 45 degrees, you won. That would be one four-wheeler brake light. Those two are just extras. I just measured them after cutting them down and they're 14 to 15 feet apart and the diagonal is within three inches. Almost the perfect square, which is just kind of really unbelievable. One more tree that needs to come down. This guy right here is dead. I'll get my tools and stuff out of the way and see if I can make it fall right here in the middle of this junk. It's getting swamped with too much lumber around here, so I'm taking these up camp to be nailed. We're getting quite a pile up there. Drag these up there, get them out of the way. This looks to me like plenty enough logs to mill up and deck that whole thing. Actually, it's, yeah, it's definitely enough. You gotta get creative when you're doing this by yourself. Only have to move that log over six, seven feet, <clears throat> and I can pick up an end at a time, but I can't drag it, so it makes it a little bit, a little bit tricky.
six. Came down last night to pick up a couple things and that log was just laying there so I had to put it in place. Mark these every two feet and since pencil doesn't really work on here not very straight but it was laying here I don't want to cut more than I have to. Why they gotta make them so heavy? One more. I gotta go find one more. Oh. It's a little bit exhausting. Log's not perfectly straight, but each notch is right in line with the log because I scored it while the log was in there. It's actually pretty good. They fit tight though. Tightly. They fit tightly. It's an adverb.
so hungry. But I don't want to quit. This is the fun stuff. Seems pretty solid. Now I gotta go do a lot of milling. Let's see, that was three boards. Probably need at least 20. I bet I'm gonna go through most of this stack actually of logs, which is a long process with a relatively small chainsaw and mill. Got a pretty good stack here. what I can drive under. Yeah. It's still put down there all right. Maybe a couple more. This wasn't the best idea. Man, some of these are beautiful. These darker uh, cedar. I put it all together with screws, just like the last deck. And then, uh, so I can move them around, take them out, fit them. And then I'll pull them out and put nails in, because nails are cheaper. <laughs> Thought it'd be cool to leave this on the outside. Instead of ripping it all off, I think that looks cool. And then the other sides will get fit. Do the uh, famous chop and scooch. Stick them together like that. This one's temporarily screwed down. Step on this one, run the saw through, scoot it over, run the saw through, scoot it over. It is a bit of a puzzle. And if you had boards from, uh, from the sawmill, it would be completely different, but when you got to cut down the trees and drag them and get rid of brush and <laughs> mill them all with the chainsaw really slowly, you want to want to stretch everyone as far as you can. <laughs> That's tight enough. And 
and that one too pretty to walk on. One board over there is so pretty, couldn't bear to walk on it, so set it aside and make a, I don't know, make something out of it, table or a canoe or something. <laughs> well, two or three weeks has gone by since I was working on this, and I gotta get it finished. It's in the 40s, high of somewhere in the 40s today so at least got to get this done before the uh snow gets here <laughs> can't believe how fast the summer went man does this look like a looks like i milled a pineapple or something maybe it's just because i'm hungry it looks like a pineapple Getting tricky. Closest I could get. Did it. It is surprisingly fun just to just to sit down and start pounding nails in without any thought. <laughs> I don't know why it's so enjoyable, but it is. Done. Get to cut off the ends. Best part. How nice does that look all of a sudden? And that's that. Got the deck finished. Looks quite nice, I think. Might have to uh, put this video out in a couple parts because it may possible the gazebo won't get built till next year I'm not sure but that was quite a bit of work but it came out quite nicely I think it'll be uh, really interesting to see how how it could possibly <laughs> build this uh, log frame for the gazebo by myself out here uh, I don't know I'm gonna lift those logs up and frame it all together but it will happen I'm starting to think this channel should be called Ryan builds a deck in the woods I swear this is gonna end up being an amazing log gazebo screened in porch whatever you want to call it it's just gonna take a while when I started this it was in the 90s and now it's uh, in the 30s and uh, I already snowed a couple days and the snow's on its way. So I figured I'd 
just come out here and try out the deck and play a tune. There's no way this thing stays in tune more than 30 seconds, maybe 20. Thank you. 